hey, listen, in Nigeria, we got skills. And we're talking about skills. One of the guys that actually, early guys that brought skills into the house, and I feel like hasn't gotten as much appreciation as he should in the industry, we got it right here in the studio. From the video you just uh, had a glimpse of, we have Feco, Feco, yes, sir. Feco. <laughs> Man, oop. Thanks Yo, for what's good, man. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, it's yeah. good to be here. I mean, good to, good to have you here. Mm -hmm. It's been like, what, ages? Over a decade, man. Damn, yes. man. Damn, man. Well, uh, for the young cast who don't really know, I know people are very in tune with YC and the rest yeah. of them. They don't really know that. Some people actually the started bones, the game. Yeah. You dig? <laughs> a lot of people who actually started this game before mm. these guys came up, right? Uh, as an OG in the game, mm, tell me how you think rap has, you know, evolved. Um, it has evolved tremendously, you know, starting from the days of SWAT roots, you know. Let me start from Junior and Pretty, you know. Chai. In fact, before Junior and Pretty, there was an era, the emphasis, that was like 1990, 91. Okay. But let me just go further into Junior, Junior and Pretty, Pretty yeah. um, Remedies, mm. Tribesmen, SWAT roots, you know, then you had the tribes. Um, two shots, Sasha. Yeah, then yeah, you had yeah, like yeah. Night House coming up Night with House, Venom, yeah, yeah. Kel. Yeah. I mean, now you had like myself mm -hmm. came on the scene, and then you have like Boogie. And you had Terry. I mean, it's, it has evolved. So skid till now. So Damn, now, so shout scared. out to all the guys holding it down. Now, like Laddie Poe, you know, yeah, signed Poe, to Mavens. Uh -huh. So it has evolved. You know, before it used to be like strictly boom bap. But yeah, now yeah. you find a lot of rappers experimenting with different sounds, mm -hmm. you know, experimenting with Afrobeat, like True. what you just heard. True. You know, it was like a mixture of Afrobeat and trap. So the sound has evolved, you know, and I'm happy that Nigerian hip hop, you know, has gotten to this level now. But M.I. came out to say, hey, rappers, how did I, rappers, how did I yeah, forget yeah. M.I.? Yo, I, that's, M.I. That's, had come out M.I. To say, M.I. Yeah. made the, the game, you know, look successful. Like, I would say he's like the most successful English rapper yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah, mainstream artist, yeah. Yeah, yeah mainstream yeah. English rapper. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, facts, facts, facts only. And it's, 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 it's really, you're going to really mm. have to work extra hard to take that true, true. from him. But, Am I coming out to say, yeah. I say rappers do it better than us. Yeah. You fix up your life. Mm -hmm. what, what, what was your feeling about it? Was, was just trying to like re rejuvenate the game. Because at that time, I, I felt he thought people were sleeping. You know, mm -hmm. MCs were sleeping. So it was just like, yo, get up, man. Get get back to work. You know, And you didn't feel after, some type of way. No, no, no. I didn't feel I mean, Vector did feel some type of way. I don't know, but. And you me, know, you did this. You did you this Vector. I, come point. on, yeah, man. You did this Vector. Yeah. I didn't, Come on. yo, yo, uh, man, like, I, I need to clear, thank God you actually right, brought this yeah, up, like, right. I, I didn't this Vector, I mean, me and Vector, we cool, mm -hmm. you know, like, we go way back, we cool, so, like, there was some sort of misconception on Twitter, yeah. you know, there was a line off a song, and then people started tagging in, you know, but truth of the matter is, at the end of the day, fans are, are, are the ones that make you, you know, the celebrity you are, at the same time, fans are the ones that, you know, create that beef between different artists. Mm -hmm. But let's just leave it at that. I mean, shout out to Vector, man. I'm a oh, huge fan of his leave latest it at that, song. For real? I like his new single with yeah, uh, Good Girl Early. Good Girl Early, yeah. yeah. Shout out to that? Good Girl Early, too. Uh -huh. it, was, it, was, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, though Vector is trying to, like, rebrand himself mm. as this cool, calm guy. Yeah. That guy, the man. First, slick guy, <laughs> then idiot boy, then yeah. lover boy. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel the, the, the trend and how mm. he's um, uh, transiting. But let's come back to you, man. Yeah. Yo, Feco, you won a competition recently yeah, called yeah. Take Back the Mic, right? Yeah. Uh, was it Pan African? Was it Pan African? Yeah, it was Pan African. You had people from South Africa, yeah. people from Rwanda, yeah. Mauritius, Kenya, Ghana, and then yeah. Nigeria. That's six African mm -hmm. countries, and there were like three semi-finalists from each of these African countries. Yeah. And we are not just rappers. We had graffiti artists, yeah. we had break dancers, mm -hmm. and we had MCs. Like the elements of hip hop were fully represented in that show. And it's called the Mike Africa. It aired in Kenya, it aired in Tanzania. I saw a few endorsements. Endorsements from uh, okay. uh, Lady of Rage. Uh, yeah, um, Lady of Rage, um, Doogie Fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The father of beatboxing. He's mm -hmm. one that invented beatboxing. Um, David Cow from South Africa. He's a renowned comedian in South Africa. De La So. De La So. You know what I mean? Exactly. Sh shout out to the Mike Africa, man. And those, it was big. Guys it was, it was and big. MI too. MI was a country champion. You know, for Nigeria. But mm. what would I? What do you think mm. Mm, got you standing out above all? What do you okay. think was that element? Yeah. So for the Mike Africa, people that have not watched it yet, mm. they can go to takebackthemike.com to watch it. So basically, I'll say it's my documentary. Mm. You know, because we all had different stories to tell. It's our story. And by the way, that same documentary 
of mine mm -hmm. whereby I talked about Mushi, my because yeah, I grew up in Mushi, yeah, yeah. you know, got shortlisted for an award in New York mm -hmm. this week. And the name of the award is the People Tell Is Award, and I'm contesting alongside other shows by HBO, Disney, Al Jazeera. So it's huge. it's huge, man. So like, guys, like, I really need you guys to vote for so that Africa will bring this home. If Bona could do this, could do it, I could yeah, also do it. We could also do it, you know? too. So I, I'll say it's my story, you know, like. But okay, before we go, how do they thing. vote? Just let me know. Yeah, just, I mean, um, follow me on This Is Feco on Instagram, IG, yeah. on IG. Then you go to the link in my bio, you know, to, to check out the voting links and everything. Okay, your documentary, because you did a documentary mm -hmm. that has to do with how you came up. Yeah. Right? There's this thing with rap. Okay. It's either you're a gangster or you started from the bottom or mm -hmm. you're a street boy, especially mm -hmm. the Billy voice. Even though yeah. it's the one you have to when he's there. Like, ah. <laughs> you know? Because hip hop is inspired by the streets. By the streets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But do you have mm -hmm. to really claim the bottom to be a successful uh, hip hop see, artist? For me, I think it's organic. Like, my own story is peculiar to me because uh, that's my story, you know? Mm -hmm. I grew up in Mushi and I was surrounded by all these things, you know, yeah. gang violence. Yeah. We know what's up, man. Like, Mushi's level no, five. No, from no, no, we know, we know what's you up. Know? <laughs> <laughs> so, that's my story, but then I don't look like it. So, some people are skeptical. They like, don't talk are like you, it. I, I, don't, I don't talk like it. So, yeah. some people are like, are you really from the hood? Like, I don't have anything to prove. If you don't believe it, fine. But my own is, I believe that. As, as a rapper, you know, wherever you come from, your dreams are valid. You can project your neighborhood or community in a positive light. And that's what I did with my documentary on the Mike Africa. And that's what I'm still doing with my music, you know, generally. And now it's beyond Mushin, it's beyond Lagos, it's beyond Nigeria. Like, I feel like I have Africa on my back mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, personally, I feel like you have hip hop music <laughs> on your back right now. Yeah. That's, that's what I have yeah. to say. I talk about the music. How many EPs, mixtapes have you dropped? Uh, okay. Compilations? Yeah, so in 2009, I yeah. dropped an, a mixtape called The First Impression Mixtape. That was my first body of work. Although prior to that time, I had an album called The Truths. But it got an shelved. album. An album. I recorded the album in 2006. Did you sign to anybody? Any? Yeah, I was signed to one label then. One label. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. it was like you know, group of friends, you yeah, know, just yeah, coming yeah, together, yeah. you know, back in Enugu. Then we were still learning how the industry works and everything. Mm -hmm. And Alaba was still thriving at the time. So let's fast forward to 2011. Mm -hmm. I dropped uh, the Rap Logic EP. It okay. had Mode Nine on it. It had a couple of other rappers on it. And then 2015, I had um, Techzilla produce an EP for me called Afrobeats Rhythm and Truth. You know, it's available for streaming online. And that was like, I'll say that was like my most successful body of work, you know. So presently, I'm working on a new album. I'm working on a new EP. So people should look out for the album. Album, and EP. EP, EP yeah. both, both this drop. year, definitely. This, this because, year? Yeah. He's trying to go DMX I'm, I'm, I'm on I'm trying us. to like make it up. You, you know, know when DMX mix. drops two albums in a year, we're multiplied. Yeah, rest, <laughs> rest in peace to DMX, Yeah, yeah, rest in peace to DMX, man. OG. OG, yeah. for real. All right, you know what, man? Let's check out one of my materials now, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's check out... Uh, La Dugomi. La Dugomi. <laughs> my hood. For non my hood. Yeah. My hood. Feco. Yo, y'all guys just slipped in. This is very hip-hop. I keep saying this because I know hip-hop. I've been following hip-hop from the, from the jump, all right? So you guys, check us out. Tell us what you think. Get on Twitter, Super Screen TV, NG. Tag us, tag Feco. Feco is supposed to be... This, this is, is Feco, right? Yeah. F-E-C-K-O. F-E-C-K-O. -E oh, all right. We'll be back. One. Yo, you're welcome back to the Big Bang Show. That was La Dubo Me yes, by sir. the man. Feco, Feco, yes, Feco, Feco. I like the line where you said, Ask WC, why One they it comes, comes from, from here. here. You, know. <laughs> you know, well, the ghetto has mm -hmm. projected a lot of talent. True. But it's beginning to look True. like not for them. We even they see clients. Also, passing, like, you know, know Ajegun Letu has his own story. Yeah. Like, the show key. Footballers, musicians, mm -hmm. athletes. Even Don Jazzy spent some time in a jagun Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. He re revealed that in an interview with Ebuka. Yeah, since so, I'm like causing one kind, one kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, bro. So, shout out to the hood, man. Yeah, shout out to the hood, man. Mm -hmm. That shout out to the hood. And that tells the hood, listen, no matter where you at. Your dreams you are valid. Facts. Your dreams are valid. That's just the word, right? So, Feko, you dropping an EP really yeah. soon. What's the title? Uh, there's no title for now, but the concept of the EP um, it's centered around the sustainable development goals like climate change, you know, and other things affecting the, the climate world. Climate change? Climate change, you know, everything 
that have Damn. to do like you know the sustainable development goals and also for the album mm -hmm. the album will be much later in the year i'm experimenting with different sounds i should be featuring mi hopefully on the album okay these are an exclusive just like i've yes, not so talked about it on any tv station uh -huh. um I'm you also, heard it first yeah you know, <laughs> i'm also featuring siki siki is from port harcourt is okay. really talented and you know he's one of those guys that will become big like omale mm. when he moves down to lagos obviously because lagos is like let me ask you a question market. is there any artist you haven't featured <laughs> I know why he asked. Cause yo, you. I, I know. Yo. Yeah, there, there, so I'm not featured Bona Boy, you know. So uh, I'm looking, I'm looking for that, you know. So because you, know, you work that with a lot of people, especially mm -hmm. if one it comes to rap, like yeah. damn, bro, you don't, you don't feature a lot of people. I, I guess maybe. But when I was just speaking, you didn't feature me, so get out. You have not featured everybody. <laughs> We'll work on something so <laughs> I, I feel right now i'm not just trying to concentrate on rappers i'm trying to like work with afrobeat artists yeah, as well because you know? right. that's the only way hip-hop can also become mainstream when mm. we collaborate with, with mm. like the afrobeat artists mm. i went for a show two years ago before covid mm -hmm. um i saw bona i saw Wiz, i saw everybody there and the only hip-hop artist that performed at that show mm. was sdc and the love S sdc got at that event was mad. I was like, wow. So for real, hip hop can actually. So imagine we had more shows like that, and we had more rappers performing alongside. Yeah. You know, because they are the ones that have that large audience. You know, I kind of feel like I feel like the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like F mm -hmm. SDC. Come yeah, on. You know. SDC, they do hip hop, but yeah. that kind of hip hop. Yeah. Power music now. Yeah. Power so it's, it's they, yeah, yeah, you listen to hip hop mm -hmm. like yeah, you, you dig. Yeah. So it's a few type of cool music yeah. that actually resonates with. Afrobeat fans. True. So I guess you have a point yeah. that you know having having to collaborate with these people can. Yeah. Let's not say oh they are the pop guys are doing their thing. Let's be in our lane as that's that's what has killed the culture over the true, years. True. Let's reach out to them. Let them reach out to us. So let's let's work. Let's collaborate. Yo, uh, Feko, yeah. no sweat, no no cap. Thanks for coming to the show. Yeah, it's a pleasure. For real, though. I don't know, pleasure. when you drop your album, I yeah. hope you come up Definitely. here so we can just uh, analyze track by track. You know, Definitely. put the full lines so that people will call and say, okay, is it Mickey says? <laughs> yeah. Or not, all right? Well, we have another guest in the house, all right? Yo, stick around. Uh, we still have a lot to talk about. Sure. Yo, guys, we have another guest. We've been hanging out with Feko. In case you want to, like, check out his material, go get on YouTube and Google, um, search for Feko. It's F. E C K O. And FECO is an acronym for Formidable MCs Can Knock Out Obstacles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> formidable MCs Can Knock, knock out, out Obstacles. obstacles. So if yeah. you're a formidable MC, yo, you can knock out whatever, however sure. it might be. I right. stick around, we'll be back with the next guest. One.